Hey, listen, Mark Spears, let's make this a real OG party right here. Let's make this an old school party. Vinny and I was going back down memory lane with Minnie Ripperton a minute ago uh, talking about the best cover a cover that's better than the original. We're putting you on the spot, but I know you are a man of, of, of good taste when it comes to your music. Can you think of a cover that is better than the original? Um, better than what's the one from the OJs where the lady had the honey on her? No, you okay? You remember the the one from the OJs where the lady had the honey on her? She was pouring yeah. honey on her. See, I'm dating oh, both of you guys. So you you, you remember me. the video? <laughs> by the way, like by the way, you remember the you remember the album cover. By the way, Vinny, you mentioned Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell earlier. Oh, you say? See, I, uh, I just went to a record store today. I'm thinking album covers. But but wait, but uh, Vinny, Vinny, you, you mentioned um, which one did you mention earlier from Marvin Gaye and Tammy? How about no? All, all you're, right, you're, all you're all I need this. to get by. You're all I need to get by. You're all I need to get by. Now the, I understand the, one the that, question. Okay. I, the one that Luca did, though, Spears. Saying this, but what about Butterfly? Um, not Michael Jackson's Earthworm. version, but your girl's version. Flo Floetry's version. Yeah, Butterfly. Okay. Okay. Mm, that's interesting. What what, a, that's... what about if this world were my? What about going back to Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell? What about if this world were mine, Luther Vandross? Because you know, like Ooh. that's. Luke yeah. is really good at covers, but he ain't stealing it. He didn't, because he ain't still Stevie's creeping, but he did creeping. He did creep. He did that. Yes. Yes. His, yeah, he, he did it. You know what? Here's another one. And I don't really particularly like the song, but um, isn't it Dolly Parton was the original uh, I'll Always Love You? Is that Dolly yeah. Parton? And then Whitney Houston did Dolly it? Dolly Parton. Oh, yep. Whitney killed it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that, came, that became kind of like Whitney's more or less one of her most famous cuts. Uh, you, you, Spears is deep in thought. I can see it. He he, he going into his mental crate. Yeah, now that I understand the question better. Like I was thinking album cover. Oh, oh okay. You, you, oh. <laughs> you were literal. <laughs> <laughs> it was literal. Oh, okay, well, if you want to talk about that, let's go to let's go Mercedes with you know Master P. Let's go to the No Limit days and talk about album covers. Like <laughs> we can go, we can go Snoop with Doggy yeah. Style. I got another one for y'all yes. though. I got another one. I got another one for you. Here, here was this was yesterday. We gotta wait for the days to come out. This was yesterday's. What is a song that has your favorite song that has a monologue in it? What's your favorite one that that, that you could think of? Like OJ's "Cry Together" comes to mind. Lenny right? Williams, Lenny Williams, "Cause I Love You." That whole song is like a monologue. That's a good one too. Um, hmm. I mean, two for one, Proud Mary. Or... Proud Mary, like the beginning of Proud Mary. That's, you know, I'll go back to that. That's the best cover. Uh, soul to Soul, however do you want me to, the acapella version. Ah, oh, that's a good one. I wouldn't qualify that as a monologue, but I do like where your head's at. Because because the Steady, beat pops in ready? like a minute in, though. What's yeah, going yeah. on? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I think about Belly at the beginning. Just, nah, yeah. just right, right. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a cool beginning. <laughs> That's you a know, good this, one. That's a dead This is anything Barry White or Teddy Pendergrass. Because they always talk. The monologue. Teddy, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Harold Melvin and the Blue Nose, Teddy Pendergrass. Miss you? Ha oh, I yep. miss you? Oh. Manhattans, let's just kiss and say goodbye is a good one. But, like, That's... but we talk, we're talking old school R&B for the most part. Yeah. Kind of like greatest monologue, like, isn't it? Hit them up. I mean, <laughs> kind of hardcore, <laughs> but it, <laughs> yeah. it Tupac hit him up. <laughs> you know, I mean, he just kind of maybe, rest maybe in peace. Puffy calling, calling Biggie on the phone, telling him uh, going to Cali, go going back to Cali. That's a good one. That's Snoop's a good one. G's and Hustlers, where, where he was, where the teacher was talking at the beginning, asking, asking, asking Snoop what he that's wanted more, to be. That's more of an interlude than a monologue, I would say. You know, okay. I'm, being, I'm, I'm being technical. I would say that's more you know, introduction, interlude, or whatever. Anyway, Spears, we appreciate you, man. <laughs> I like uh, this conversation. About... I just feel like we're sitting <laughs> on right. the couch. Well, <laughs> would, would you prefer this one, or would you prefer the broken record that is Kyrie Irving drama with the Brooklyn the music? Yes. Your choice. Anytime you know? on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather talk uh, about music. You'd rather? <laughs> I'm sure the Nets would too. Um, how you see that situation playing out, though? Seriously. 
Uh, another song, Cash Rules Everything Around Me. Like, mm. he ain't going to the Lakers. Um, Cause that means you're giving up thirty million dollars. I mean, get paid and figure the rest out later. That that's what I think it is. I, I I heard yesterday that Kyrie actually just built or just bought a house in the Brooklyn area, which you could take that as I'm trying to put my roots down here. But he's also from around here, so I'm not sure like how to take that news. Um, but my biggest worry for the Nets, like, why why weren't you trying to act big on bold on this last season? Like, at the beginning of the season, like, to me, in terms of the so-called drama with Kyrie, I mean, uh, I, I don't think the pandemic is over, but I don't see him missing as many games because of it next season. So I, I do think that he will be in uniform. He will play. They, they will get something next season that they didn't get this past season uh, because, you know, the world has improved medically um, and perhaps he could get by easier now despite not being vaccinated than he could a year ago. So I, I, I think it could end up being much ado about nothing. I know this is a sexy story, but the Nets would be silly to let such an amazing talent, such a big asset go. Like you can't yeah. let him go for nothing. You can't. Oh, I'm lose not saying him you let him nothing. walk out the door. No, I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying you are. Your, but, but I, I, mean, I, to, I was saying a minute ago, Spears, I would think about trading him because, like, you know, we were talking. No, what no, have you no, done no. for I me mean, lately? I, I just think they got to be careful for how they handle this situation. You can be big and bad and all that, but the <laughs> the more you puff your chest out, maybe the more difficult he makes the situation to beat. And I heard I'm some sure Martin Lawrence. Teams. I heard Martin Lawrence there. You heard Martin Lawrence there, Vinny. You so big, yeah. bad, and bold. <laughs> <laughs> but but ultimately, like, do you want to get Kevin Durant angry, right? Because they definitely seem to be joined at the hip, and I haven't heard anything that suggests that Kevin doesn't want to play with him anymore. So you're 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 playing that potential card as well. So maybe you you break up Kyrie. Are you sure that Kevin still will want to be there? Right? So I, I think they should just, uh, obviously, I don't know if Kyrie wants a long, a short-term contract, if they could convince him to do that. I think that certainly it would be great. But ultimately, he's still a top talent. He still uh, can give you 50 on any given night. I know he's a headache. But I'm always one to keep the asset and figure the rest out later. Mark, Mark, you said you said the vaccine as if that were the only thing. This dude takes two weeks off because of whatever happened at the Capitol. He takes two weeks off because it's his birthday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, can you trust him? And after the fact that this dude gets hurt a lot, like he doesn't play a full season, well, like would you would you put stipulations in the contract or would you just fully guarantee him and give him all the power and leverage? Well, that's where I think you put in a contract. You, you, if you play this many games, you get this. You know, put it, put those kind of stipulations, and so it makes it more attractive to him to want to play. Um, when you have somebody like that, man, they got so much money that they they could be cavalier. Uh, but if you also sign them to a deal and things don't go the way you want them to. I feel like a the player of that talent, no matter what his drama is, it's like, like, look, Allen Iverson, Vinny, you know, that's my boy. There were certainly some things that come with, came with Allen, hmm. but he was so hmm. talented that people still made room for him when he was at the top of his game. Kyrie's at the top of his game. And if you, and that's why I keep mentioning the asset, if you sign him and things still go awry, then you can move him. And he'll have value at the trade deadline. He'll have top value. Um, okay. I, I just, he's too talented for me to, to say goodbye now. I'd, I'd give it, I'd, I'd give it some more time. Because I do feel I like, like if you... this team is healthy, they could, they could be in the finals next season. I like that's how like Amanda, that. That's like Amanda that stuck it out through some relationships. That's what that sound like. Yeah, but you but you got the trade deadline. If it if it's not going well, you got them under contract. You can move them. So basically, what you're saying, Spears, is it's cheaper to keep her, for now at least. Yeah, 
You can't lose him for nothing. That could set your franchise back <laughs> big time. I mean, even, but like, you just got to be smart about it, right? Um, like, I look at the situation with Durant. Like, the Warriors didn't lose Durant for nothing. Durant basically got him Wiggins. Yeah. And Wiggins played a huge yeah. role in them winning the championship. So, if you are going to move him, you know, it's, uh, it's it's got to be something for something great and and perhaps you get greater value by trading him at the trade deadline than now i mean it, it's 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 certainly he's talented man like we could talk all this and that about him being this or that or if he's yeah. on the floor he's exceptional he, he's as good so as any say, player so you say guard in the league curry included so you say play play it by ear wow oh you say play it by ear real quick that's for the other team I mean, the Lakers, it feels like a long shot. They feel like they don't have the assets that they don't have the assets. Make it happen. You know, I, if I'm the Clippers, I, I don't want, again, the same reason why I'm not tripping if I'm Brooklyn. I just don't want that problem. I got enough to deal with with, 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 with Kawhi, who's like, you know, Kyrie light in some respects. You know, I don't want to deal with, I got Kawhi, I got, I got PG, yeah. well, I got and a that's good why nuclear. I'm saying maybe it might you behoove them too if they're going to move them, move them later and hope that things get better. You know what I mean? Like yeah. to, right, today's okay. today's price, I don't think it's going to get fair value. Oh, I thought you were going to say yesterday's price ain't today's price. <laughs> no, Either way, I think today's, the priceless comp- today's, yesterday's <laughs> price was better than today's price. <laughs> yeah. But tomorrow's price, priceless I think, is better if he's if 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 he's if he's on the floor. He's a bad man. Priceless now. wisdom from Mark. We could talk all you this a bad stuff man. we want, but he's a bad man when he's when he's on the floor. You a, he's a, you bad, a bad man. man. You a bad man, Majama. I ain't gonna say you just as fine as you can be, because that would be inappropriate. But I'm just, I'm in this music mode right now. I'm just in this music mode, that's all. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.